What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to another one of my sit-down interviews. Today, I got Icy Entertainment in the building with me. What's the deal? Ski. Yeah, What's the deal? So, I'm going to go down the line. Every single one of y'all just give y'all a name, you know what I'm saying? What's the deal, bro? What you go by? Oh, shit, my name, uh, you can call me uh, Geek, you know what I'm saying? Geek.tv, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, that's a bet. Icy Sip Louie, Mr. Da Da Da. Whole lot of Sim shit. Hell yeah. yeah. It's your boy Ice 18th in the building. We're gonna show them boys how to drip a splash one time. Hell yeah, yeah, that's a bet. It's your player partner, man, Ski, you know, Ski Originator, you know. Shout out Ice Entertainment. Hell yeah, shout out. It's your boy Money Maker Snow, motherfucking Don. It's sure. Let's get it. It's your boy King Live Action, one half for the Goaters. Icy First Class, King Live Action with a three, not an E. Hell yeah, that's a lot. Man, you know what the fuck going on. It's T Diddy, aka Top Ski, the original Ski. Ski! That's a bit. Say, that way, your boy King Super, you know what time it is. Ice your first class, the commander, baby. We ain't here to go the way. Let's get it, y'all. All right, y'all, so let's talk about it. What's, what's the inspiration behind all y'all? What, what made y'all want to do this? We can go down the line, whoever wants to talk first, you know what I mean? Man, in high school, when a motherfucker stole my song, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know what I'm saying? The YBN niggas, Sparrow, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas really turned me up, yeah. When they stole my song in high school, you know what I'm saying? I had to turn up. They had the whole school jumping off my shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to start rapping. But when I started rapping, I was really trash. You know what I'm saying? It really took me like five years to find my sound, and this what you get. Hell yeah, man. Where you from, bro? I'm from Galveston, Texas. Galveston, 409, Texas. yeah. Hell yeah, that's live. I heard that most of y'all from Galveston, that's facts. Galveston, Galveston, Galveston County. Galveston County? Galveston County. Oh, Galveston yeah. 409 on the map, you know. Yeah. I came from the Midwest region, though. You know what I'm saying? Kansas, 785. You know I mean? came from South Carolina. Yes, sir. Beaufort, east side. West Texas City to the north side of Houston. What's up, TG? Hey, east side of Texas City. Block baby for life. All right. Talk more about yourself, boss. Um, <coughs> my name's Silk, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think it's because I sip a lot of drink. Yeah, I sip drink, but really sip means screwed in place. So screwed in place means you're locked in, you're not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So when I started this sip shit, I was at Lamar, and I was going to school in Lamar. I was trapping on the dorms, going to school. You know, I was really working. Like, I was really going to my classes and shit like that. But I got caught up with some weed, took a charge for some niggas that I really shouldn't have did. You know what I'm saying? That brought me back to the county. So, I just really try to help my brothers. You know what I'm saying? I just met them. I just got in the label. It's been like a year, year and a half since I got in the label. And really, I don't fuck with niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with people at all. You know what I'm saying? So when I got over here, it was like really like a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that I know, I want to teach them. The shit that they know, they teaching me. It's like iron sharpen iron. Hell yeah. We all help each other. Hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And this is what you get, the snowstorm, I-C-E-N-T. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what's up, bro? You going to talk about yourself a little bit, man? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, but I ain't expect to be on the camera or nothing like that. But shit, since I'm on this bitch, you know what I'm saying? They gonna call me Geek, you know what I'm saying? Or you can call me Three, you know what I'm saying? I got my own platform going. I run interviews too, Geek.TV, you know what I'm saying? Go follow me on all social media platforms, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I also do music too, but that's only on the side for right now. Uh, shit, I'm from Galveston County. I'm from Lake Road, you know what I'm saying? Lamar, Lamar Texas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. That's really all about me, you know what I'm saying? Just hey, hit me up. That's a bet. That's a bet. What's the deal, play? And what's up, man? It's Icy 18, man. So just to get down to everything and get all the bullshit out the window, the main reason I do this is for my kids, man. I got seven kids, number eight on the way. Hey, and, shit. And, and, and it just... Damn. Yeah, I, got, I got too many miles to feed, man, to be bullshitting. So, you know, I got to get it I got to get it out the mud for real. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So talk about yourself, man. I mean, I was born in Galveston. Stayed there for about six hours, went right across the water to Tick City. Been there for the past, I don't know how long, 27 years, showing my ass, doing my thing. You know, uh, I was raised on the east side of Tick City. Uh, shout out to the block, Young Gomez, free my boy Young Gomez. Hey, I love you, bro. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just, man, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. Big family, you know, I grew up with 13 brothers and sisters in the house, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Dad wasn't ever really around. Like, he he provided, did the things he needed to do, but he wasn't there to teach me how to be a man, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so I yeah. had to learn everything on my own, had to learn how to take steps to watch my back and watch what I was doing to make the right moves and the right plays in life to get to the position I need to be and ended up, you know, when I was going to school, having a kid before I graduated, so I dropped out of school. Went back and got that diploma, though. You know, education is important. Hell yeah. Uh, but, you know, I just had a kid young, man, and I've been struggling ever since, man, and just, I, I don't know, I've been hot dick, and I got, you know, like I said, I got number eight on the way. I got to make something happen, man. Pull out a game weak than a bitch. <laughs> Real shit. You ain't thought about putting it on a condom or something? Man, look, man, that shit just ain't for me, bro. Nah, I don't fuck with them bro, Jimmy skins, man. Nah. That shit ain't for me, bro. Well, shit, man. That's a lot, bro. Appreciate it. Man, it's your boy Money Maker Snow, man. I was originally born in South Carolina, but, you know, I'm an east side, baby. You feel me? Shout out TC. You know how we rocking. Yeah, sure. So, man, shit, to be honest with you, I just started rapping like four or five years ago, and I wasn't even taking that shit serious, because before that, I ain't even know how to rap a goddamn lick, but, nigga, I mean, off beat like a hoe. Shit, fuck that up, you feel me? So, You were more on the blue face shit, or what? Nah, it was, you know, I ain't even on the blue face shit, and now I know how to actually rap and shit now, like, you feel me? So, yeah, yeah. it was just saying, like, before that, I just couldn't rap, so I wasn't even interested in music. I just listened to the shit, nigga, like any regular motherfucker, man. My shit was sports until I stopped fucking with that. It was like, it was, shit, it was just wasn't for me. Yeah, so, yeah. after that shit, it was more like, uh, at first I tried to do some comedy shit, but I I, I wasn't feeling it, because it was like <laughs> niggas just testing me, because... Feel me? I don't like niggas just testing yeah, yeah, yeah. me, bro. So it was more like a just you feel me? I'm trying to stay out the way, cause before this shit, I was a crash dummy, man. I I ain't afraid to admit it, goddamn me. So shit, that's all it is with me. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot, man. And shit, man. I'm the youngest of the bunch. Yeah, I'm on no nineteen. Oh, you're nineteen? Yeah, I'm on Young nineteen. Youngie, man. You got a lot more to go. Rockstar, baby, rockstar. Um, what's the deal? Yeah. Hey man, this your boy King Live Action with a three, not an E, man. You know what I'm saying? I am one half a icy first class. It's them go to boys. You know what I'm talking about. We always taking off. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? We always taking off with the skills. You know what I'm saying? I came from the Midwest. You know what I'm saying? Right there in the middle of the map. It's Kansas. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing near as born. You feel me? Ain't shit to do out there. You know what I'm saying? But it's some real solid people out there. You feel me? You know what I mean? But music, like especially hip hop music, ain't real big out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a college town. K State Wildcats, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So it, the parties, you know what I'm saying? It'll be lit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out Aggieville, shout out all the homies back home. You know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? It came down here because I was looking for a better opportunity linked up with the other half of the go to the commander. You know what I'm saying? Super Dave, you feel me? And it's been, it's been a rap ever since. We've been taking off ever since. Hell yeah, that's a lie. So, so, hell yeah. What's up, bro? Man, you know what the fuck going on. T. Diddy, like I said, top ski, the original ski. Born in Galveston, Texas, raised in Lamar. You know what I'm saying? I started rapping like sixth grade. I linked up with Danny B. And you know what I'm saying? I just been going at it with him for years, for years, for years. Then I linked up with Sip Louie. Then I linked up with the whole Icy Gang. And we just been like on some... Power Ranger shit, just taking over conquering and shit, you feel me? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I'm saying, let people know, like, hey, stay lit. That's why I want people to know you can do whatever you put your mind to. You feel me? We lit, rap, whatever. You feel me? Just rap that shit. You feel me? However you feel, whatever you feeling like, just rap that shit, spit that shit, man. You can be passionate <coughs> about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Man, just know. We got them bangers coming. Hell yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, Sersky. That's a bit. I can't wait to hear them hoes. What's good with you, man? For sure, your boy Super Dave Brown, man. You know the other half of the GOAT, man. Icy First Class. Been rapping for a minute, you know what I mean? Like I say, this Icy shit, man. Came over here. Came joined them boys, man. My boy Action, you know what I mean? Come over here with the, with, with the skills, you know. Do it the go the way, the blizzard way, snowstorm shit. But yeah, man, it's it's all about unity. You know what I mean? That's 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 what we all about. You know what I'm saying over here. 
with the icy shit, just brotherhood. This ain't no gang. This this a unity. You know what I'm saying? This yeah, this, yeah. this 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 what you see. You know what I'm saying? Shout out raw. Shout out kid job. You know what I mean? But you know we not already went down the line. You know, but this it. We just here for some takeover shit, straight like that. Hell yeah, that's a bet. Hey man, deal? say man, what it do? It's the main ski, one of the originators of the ski nation shit. But my see why Danny B and I represent them three letters. I see why. You know, I started rapping in 2011. You know, on mixed craft six in the closet bullshitting. I really didn't like people. I ain't like people. I ain't like, like just nothing. I wasn't a people person, so I always. Stay in the closet, making music, making music, rapping about my pain. My mama, she been having lupus since I was born, so all I knew was just pain or shit I couldn't do what other kids was doing because I had to take care of her, make sure she took medicine or she uh, skip taking her medicine, go to the game room and gamble and shit, and then she ended up having strokes and shit, so I had to grow up early. So putting that in music, it's like I've been preaching really since 15. I've been preaching in songs, you know what I'm saying? So it's just now I linked up with my uncle. He really my cousin, but I look at him like an uncle, really a daddy, because I really never had none. My mama was my daddy. So I linked up with Ice, and it just taught me unity and brotherhood. Over here, you got to put your pride to the side to see the bigger picture, because the bigger picture going to feed your generations after you. You know, that's how we rock it. Hell yeah. So, you know, now we putting it together. You know, now we about to get in y'all face, get in these interviews, get in these uh, listening events and all that. You know, we finna kick the dough down. Yo, no features either. That's a bet. Hell yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, a lot of y'all, what's the inspiration behind a lot of this? Like, y'all got any favorite artists? You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen to, like, any type of favorite artist, you know, and then y'all be like, man, let me click to I'm it. I'm just say, <coughs> my people, like, my team, they my favorite artists. I'm going to just say first and foremost. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got rappers that I listen to, but... When they you know, you got, they you, got like, you got like legendary artists, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, like, I got legendary artists like, you know, Lil Wayne. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Inspired me, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to speak Houston, you know, Zero. Hell yeah. Trey, you know, Fat Pad. You know, all the Houston legends, you know what I'm saying? They create this shit, you feel me? So, but. You know, my gang really just, you know, they turn me up, hype me up. When I hear that, when I hear them push that pressure, you feel me? I'm pushing that pressure. Hell yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's how it's supposed to be, too. You know, really Especially when team, you, you know. Yeah. Anybody else? Well, shit, as far as rap, Wayne, Snoop, and 50 for me. But shit, I don't, other than them three, I don't even listen to rap for real. I listen to R&B shit. I be listening to Teddy Pendergrass like a motherfucker. Shit, I ain't worried about, mm-hmm. you feel me? I be worried, <laughs> listen to Teddy Pendergrass, goddamn, me some Al Green that night. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. man, two-step in the shower type shit, man. You feel me? So, yeah, yeah. shit, other than that, shit, Wayne, 50, and Snoop for me, baby. Shit, and then, yeah. you know, for the main ski, you know, like Tupac, you know, like, J. Cole, uh, I just like rappers that tell stories and the substance. Like, after you get through listening to the song, you can take it and apply it to your real life. So, like, I really I really only listen to me. I, I really preach to myself. Because what really made me want to take it serious is when somebody that I didn't know came up to me and told me, man, you know, your song changed the way I thought. Change the way I, I got to respect my mom or how I move with my crew and all that. So that really pushed me. So if you ain't preaching or talking that shit in your songs, I'm not going to listen to you. Yeah, yeah. I don't care how many views you got, how many followers you got. I don't care. If you ain't talking that shit, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Play the song. Hell yeah. <coughs> Anybody else? Shit. Besides my Icy Brothers, like my boy Diddy say, because, you know, I jam us every day on a daily basis. Uh, my top three would have to be... Zero, that, that's, I grew up listening to Zero from since Gorilla Mob. That's one of my favorite rappers, is my favorite rapper. Shout out to that boy Ro. Uh, number two, Joyner Lucas. He's slept on, way way underrated. He's he's a lyrical monster. Uh, and number three, Mo3, RIP Mo3, man. Yeah, real yeah. shit. That's my top three right now. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, definitely listen to Mo3 every day. No, no shit. <laughs> that's some shit I do all the time. Mo3 hard. Anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm going with bags, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going with sauce, you know what I'm saying? Because really, I got my, I really got a piece of that, because he like a turn up, you know what I'm saying? I really turn up. So that's really, I put my own little style to this shit, because it's really like a high pitch on silk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But really, I put my own little flavor to it. It's really kind of like beats in church. I'm really like a choir musician. 
You know what I'm saying? If you really just look at my work of art, so really, I got Sauce. You know what I'm saying? That's one rapper for my ad libs. I tweet that. You know what I'm saying? Money bag. Oh, yeah, it's money his bag, wordplay. Boy. You know what I'm saying? It's similes, metaphors. Boom, boom. Yeah, money I bag take that a piece on. from. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say money bag and then Gucci man. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? That's you, where I get my trap shit from. Yeah, yeah, Gucci and man. That's, hard. And that's when you get silk. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> silk. Yeah. Money yeah. man, about the only motherfucker in the game right that now using hyperboles in his music. Yeah. No cap. Yeah. <laughs> no cap. No cap. Anybody else? Yeah, my inspiration is probably surprise. It'll probably surprise some people, but you know I'm from the Midwest, so you know what I mean. I fuck with him and them too. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, that's my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I grew up, like I used to play that nigga shit all through high school. Uh, real nigga shit. Then uh, you know, my family, you know what I'm saying? My whole family, especially my sister, she 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 down here. She the reason why I moved down here. You know, we from Philly, so I gotta go with Meek Mill. Oh hell yeah. Number two. You know what I'm saying? I used to the hero <laughs> for real. <laughs> I used nah, to pray for times like hope. this, to rhyme like this, <laughs> for real, real yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Then I probably have to put Jay Z at my third. Yeah. You feel me? Jiggas. You know, he 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 spit he spilt that real pain. You know what I'm oh. saying? And he's saying it off the top of the brain at the same time. Nigga so. Jay Z talk about some grown man shit. Grown man cat. shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Yeah. And real. I can't forget about Wiz. I got shout out Wiz because Wiz made me stay true to this Wiz shit, <laughs> like for real. Yeah, yeah. Wiz made niggas stay true because yeah. niggas weren't even smoking no gas back yeah. then when yeah. I was smoking yeah. on the gas. Nigga, when we was smoking on the gas, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But he made me stay true to this shit. You feel me? So yeah, shout out to Wiz. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. What about you? I'm about to go. I'm gonna go last the first. Rest in peace to my nigga though. Everybody know I fuck with that nigga chat. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to the to the to the PMC. PMC. But shit, for my for my for my second right now, I'm gonna have to ride with silk. You know what I mean? Lyrically right now, bags on their ass. You know what I mean? Then like for my number one, right <coughs> now, my number one, ugh. Number one, tough though. I'm gonna have to go with my damn self. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what I'm gonna go with, shit, because I'm the underdog. You know what I'm talking about? That way, the go the way. Say, straight like that. But yeah, I'm gonna run with that though. Bags though, bags tearing the game up right now though. Squat so business though. Yeah. Shit, shit. Hell yeah. Hey, well, check this out. I need to actually get a. I might as well get it worked out. I might as well need to get. I need to get me a sit down interview with each and every single one of y'all personally. You feel me? But I'm gonna get that worked out with y'all's with y'all's manager or whatnot. And we're going to get that worked out, and it's going to be going down. Yeah, but, uh, this is my little... ENT, baby, that way. Hey, yeah, this is my little fams, and this is Icy E&T. Ski! Ski! Go to...